Hey guys, it's Ashley again, which means it is Thursday, and I have a new video on this channel today. And also, I just want to let you guys know that we did find a girl to fill in on Sunday. Um, so she will be starting this coming Sunday after you guys watch this on Thursday. Um, so make sure you guys go and like her videos and comment and stuff, um, just so we can welcome her into our new collab channel. And... Yeah, so basically today it is a hairstyle week, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this really easy and cute top knot. I think it's perfect for school. It doesn't take very long at all, and it doesn't take a lot of stuff to kind of do it, and it also involves no heat, um, which is absolutely great. So if you guys want to try this, you guys can watch the video, but first of all, I just want to say what you guys are going to need to be able to do this look today. Now if you have naturally curly hair, you can definitely do this. It might look a little bit different, but my hair is naturally pretty straight. And also in the video, I am starting off with it as second day hair after me straightening it the day before. So if you want to straighten it the day before and then try this for your second day hair, you can definitely do that. But I recommend having it straight. I just find that it's easier to work with. But the first thing that you're going to need is a Stronghold hairspray. This is the Garnier Fruity Style UV Color Shield Anti-Humidity Hairspray. This is in 4 Ultra Strong. You're going to need this while you're making your top knot. And then the second thing, this is kind of optional, this is the Bedhead Rockaholic Dirty Secret Dry Shampoo. I use this before I even start the look just to make sure my hair doesn't look oily or greasy because it is second day hair and it is not freshly washed. And then the third thing you're going to need is a brush. It does not have to be a paddle brush, you're just going to need a brush to pull up your hair in the beginning of the video. And then you're going to need a fine tooth comb for the teasing that we'll be doing. And the last and final thing, oh wait, nope, I lied, sorry. <laughs> um, the second to last thing that you're going to need is some bobby pins. Um, you're going to need quite a lot. This is just a tin that I have them in just to keep all my bobby pins in. And the last and final thing that you'll need is a hair tie. Mine is obviously already in my top knot, so I can't show it to you. Um, but any kind of elastic hair tie will do just to pull up your hair in a ponytail. And that's basically all that you'll need for this video. And as I said, it's very, very cute. And you can definitely do it on days that you're not feeling like really putting a lot of effort into your hair but this still looks very put together and it doesn't take a lot of time at all so let's just get into the video so you guys can learn how to do the top knot okay so first and foremost i'm starting off with my hair not being freshly washed this is my second day hair i had it straight yesterday and then I had to pull it up yesterday for practice and I just took it out of the ponytail a little bit ago. But basically you don't want to have freshly washed hair. I find that if it is a little bit dirty it does hold the tease a little bit better which we are going to be teasing in this video. And if you also have fine or thin hair like I do, it's definitely going to help if you have it a little bit dirty so it is able to hold. Because as I said, this is a little bit harder for people with fine and thin hair. I find that you have to make your hair bigger overall. Rather if you had like thick or coarse hair, so I definitely recommend that you have second day hair But you can also use a dry shampoo. This is the bedhead rockaholic dirty secret dry shampoo And I'm just going to spray this on the roots of my hair just so they don't look oily or greasy when we go to do this look So I'm going to spray around my bangs and on the sides And then I'm also going to separate my hair and spray where the crown is because that's where I tend to get oily. Then all I'm going to do is just massage that into my scalp. Then you can take your brush and just brush it out just so it's evenly distributed and there's no clumps of it anywhere. Okay, so next we're going to take our hair tie and I'm just going to pull all of my hair up into a ponytail on the top of my head. You do want this to kind of be high, like kind of like a little bit above your crown, just so you can see it when you do do the top knot because I have seen them up high like this and they look really, really nice when they're on top of your head and not kind of set back far. So I'm going to pull all of my hair up into a tight ponytail right above my crown, probably about right here, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, I put my hair into a high ponytail on the top of my head right here and don't worry if the hair around here is a little bit messy at first because you can make your top not messy or very clean and kind of sleek back but we can always fix this part at the end by either hairspraying it and combing it back or just leaving it kind of messy and pulling some pieces out 
But for now, you just want to make sure that you have your hair up and a ponytail on top of your head like this. Okay, now, as I said for like the third time now, if you do have thin hair, you're probably going to need to do what I do. Now, if you have thicker hair, you can probably do the same process that I'm going to do, but without um, teasing each section, as you're going to see in a minute. What I like to do is separate it into three sections, and I'm only going to take one section at first. And all I like to take a section on the end over here, and all I'm going to do is take a Stronghold hairspray and spray up and down it front and back and then I'm going to take my fine tooth comb and I'm just going to start the top here and tease downwards as far as you can and just back comb. So you're starting at the top and combing downwards like this. Now don't be scared if it looks kind of crazy at first because we're going to kind of smooth it out a little bit. You just want to make your hair really big because if you do have like thin hair like I do you need to make this bigger so your top knot doesn't look like a really tiny little bun. So I'm just going to tease this as much as I can. Then I'm going to spray it again. Now what I like to do is just kind of run my fingers up it almost like this. And what's going to kind of do is smooth it out a little bit, but so that your hair is also like still big. You just want to run your hands up it so it does get a little bit smoother. Now you can take your comb if you have some major bumps and kind of lightly comb them out. Um, I don't recommend combing it out too much, obviously, but if you do have some major bumps that aren't going to lie smooth, you can brush those out a little bit. Okay, I know that's a little goofy right now, but you're going to want to have some of your bobby pins kind of setting out and ready to use, because the next thing that you're going to do is take this section after you have it smoothed out a little bit, and you're not going to get this always in the first try. I don't, and I even like do these a lot. You're just going to want to kind of start wrapping this around the ponytail. And what you can do is as you go, you can start pinning things into place like I do. So I'm just going to kind of start wrapping this. I'm going to pin one here. You just really need to start pinning it as you go so it starts to stay. And I'm just going to wrap it around. Pin one over here. Now try not to get the rest of your ponytail caught in with this because you are going to need those sections here in a little bit. So I have to kind of flip them out like that. And then I'm just going to wrap a little excess around and pin that as well. Now, if you do this and you don't like how it looks the first time, you can definitely take this first piece out and try it again. As I said, sometimes I even don't get it perfectly laying right the first time or how I want it to look. You can always redo it, it's not going to hurt anything. And also, if you're going for a messier top knot, don't worry about if this isn't too perfect because you do want to go for that messier look if you'd like to. Um, now, I'm going for a little bit of a sleeker look today, so I like this to be a little bit smooth. So I'm going to spray it again, and then I'm going to take my comb one more time and just kind of smooth it with the directions that it's going. So there's no bumps and it just looks very, very sleek. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is do the exact same thing to this. I'm going to split this into two, and what I like to do is make one section bigger than the other. This just adds kind of some variety when you start wrapping pieces around it, and it makes it look not as like formal. It makes it look like you kind of just did this real quick and just look very, very nice. So I'm just going to section this into two, and this is going to be my smaller piece. I recommend taking the smaller piece last, but I'm going to take this bigger section right here, and again, I'm going to spray it up and down with hairspray. Then I'm going to take my fine tooth comb and just start teasing downwards. And as I said before, if you have thicker hair, you definitely can skip this part and just start wrapping the hair around in sections. It's just because my hair isn't very big, so the top knot looks very, very tiny and weird if I don't tease it and make my hair a little bit bigger. Okay, so this section is teased, and as I said, you're just going to want to kind of smooth it out a little bit with your hands, just so it's not bumpy or anything like that. And you can also then smooth out pieces with your comb. Now 
Now, here's a little bit of a different part that we do with the other side. This side I wrapped around going this way. Now, for the second piece, I'm going to wrap it around the opposite way. So, since this piece went this way around my head, this piece is going to go this way around my head. Okay, so I'm just going to start wrapping this around again and pinning it. Now also a little trick is if you start wrapping it around and this looks very almost like square and not round, what you can do is when I start to get to the side over here, I actually twist my hair right here and it kind of helps for this to look more round and not as like squarish because you don't want it to look squarish, you just want it to look round like a top knot. Also, this is going to be way easier for you if you're not trying to do this while looking in your viewfinder and your camera. It will be a lot easier. Um, this is a little difficult, I'm not going to lie. It's trying to do it <laughs> without like looking in a mirror. But hey, um, I guess this kind of proves how easy it is if I can do it while just like looking in my viewfinder. Um, anyway, so I'm just going to keep pinning that until I get to the very end. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Just keep pinning. And remember, don't get this section in the way. Just keep pulling the other part around. Just keep pinning, just keep pinning, 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 pinning. What do we do? We pin, pin, pin. <sighs> Sorry, I just got in the singing mood right there. Do -do. Okay, so then I'm just going to spray this again and kind of comb it down to make sure it's smooth and if you also have any little pieces kind of flying out you can always wrap them around and just kind of pin them in so this last piece I'm going to do the same thing but I'm not going to tease it as much since it is kind of like smaller so I'm just going to spray it front and back and then take my comb again and just tease it a little bit okay and I'm going to smooth it out again now it's your personal preference whichever way this last piece goes. I know that I did the other two kind of alternating, but I find that if I take this one around the way that it should be, which is going back this way, you're not even going to see it in the front. So I'm just going to take it the way that I took the last one. But what I like to do with this one, just to add a little bit, is just kind of twist this one almost, just kind of loosely. And I take this across the front and it just gives it a little bit of texture in the top knot. I'm going to take my body pins again and pin this down. And then wrap the rest of it around and pin it in the back. Now I'm just going to spray it one more time, and I spray it around the back too. Now you can decide if you want your top knots to be sleek or kind of messy. I tried to do this part a little bit sleeker and not as messy, but if you did do your top knot messy, what you can do is start pulling down pieces here, and maybe just pull a few pieces out so there's a little bit to frame your face, and it does look a little bit more natural and messier, but I want mine to look really sleek. So I'm just going to spray around my scalp, and then I'm going to take my comb and just smooth it all back so it looks very smooth and sleek. I'm going to spray one side and then I'm going to take my comb and smooth it back. Now also if you find that you have any bumps as you're smoothing this back, you can definitely take your bobby pins and just hold that down so the, there's no bumps or anything like that. I'm going to do it to the top and brush this back. Then the other side. And you can also do it to the back if you'd like, if you have little hairs that come down like I do.
Okay, so you can give it one last little spritz of hairspray. And that's basically it for the top knot. I hope you guys found this helpful and let me know in the comments if you try this hairstyle out. And I hope you guys enjoy this video, but till next Thursday, I'll see you guys later. And Bye, one more thing I forgot to mention, if you'd like to add a little bit something to this top knot, you can definitely wear headbands. This is a pearl one that I have. And sometimes I do wear my top knots with headbands just to add a little bit of a girly accent. And if you're not a headband person, you can also add bows. Now, I like to wear these a lot with my top knots because they add a little bit of color. Um, you can wear them in the front if you'd like, but I personally like to wear them in the back. Now, you also can add a bow like this to the back. So yeah, I just wanted to share that quick tip before I ended this video. I know I already said bye, but it was something that I thought of right after I stopped filming that clip. Um, so yeah, you can add bows or even like clips or something like that or headbands if you'd like. Um, I just think it adds a little bit to the top knot and just makes it look a lot cuter. So yes, that's it. I promise. I'm not going to turn the camera back on now. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and tune in next week to see my next video. So yeah, love you guys. Bye.